It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the glowing distort transition in After Effects. I hope you guys like the preview, thought the effect looks really cool and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. Let's open up After Effects and here I've also added some footage I'm going to be showcasing the transition on. And after you have added your footage you're going to be making an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y, drag this one above both of your clips and you're going to be making this adjustment layer 16 frames in width. So I'm going to go from the transition point, I'm going to go 8 frames to the right and then from the transition point again I'm going to go 8 frames to the left and then cut the adjustment layers at those points. And when you have done that, it should look something like this. Now it's going to be 16 frames in width. And I like to add some markers here. There, there, there. You add markers by pressing the star key on your keyboard. Let's start off by adding some effects here. And the first effect I'm going to be adding is from a plugin called Sapphire. And the effect there is called Distort RGB. And when you add that effect, it's going to make this kind of look here. Looks very crazy now for the moment, but uh, we're going to change up the settings a little bit and we will get a amazing look in the ending. So I'm going to play around a little bit with the amount here. Uh, I actually liked it to be a minus a negative amount here. So set it to around minus 1.5, 1.7 around there. And this is the look you will have here with that amount and then you're going to be keyframing the amount as well so press the clock here at the transition point go to the end set it to zero go to the beginning as well set it to zero then i'm going to open up the adjustment layer effects distort rgb mark the keyframes here press f9 to easy ease them mark one of the keyframes go to graph editor and here I'm going to be making a pretty sharp graph here. So I'm going to drag this one to the middle like that. This one to the middle as well. And this one around halfway, these two. And it's going to make it pretty fast. Something like this, as you guys can see. And a perfect effect to use with this transition here is going to be one of the effects from my TV Glitch Pack V3. And I'm going to be showing one of the effects there. Ctrl Y. This is how the effect looks. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Might be lagging now in the recording, but I'm going to be showing you guys a preview of the effect. Looks super, super good. And if you guys are interested in this pack, I have a discount code for you guys. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5 off that pack. It works super well with transitions and amazing effect for music videos. Now for the glowing distort transition, I'm going to be adding deep glow. Here I'm going to be increasing the radius to around 400. Something like that. Then go to the transition point. Set the exposure to 3. Now you guys can see the brightness becomes a lot stronger here. And then go to the ending, set it to 0. And I'm going to set the exposure to 3. Then press the clock to keyframe it. Go to the ending, set it to 0. Beginning, set it to 0 as well. Now it's going to be fading in and glowing really good. And this is how the transition looks in slow motion here, frame by frame. Really, really clean transition, and as I said before, works even better with the TV Glitch Pack V3. And if you guys also think this effect looks good, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisual.com, with amazing editing packs just like the ones I showed you before. And don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram. And don't forget to join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and... Have a nice day.